well. They call this a mountain too. This one is quite unlike Ibuki though. Heavily wooded and of course significantly smaller. Uh, I guess I'll find out when I reach the top exactly what the elevation is, but I'm sure it's a lot less than a thousand meters. Maybe a couple hundred, if that. <sighs> Neat place though. Not that you can really see much through all the trees here. But there's just nobody around. Which is probably as much a function of it being, what, uh, a Friday afternoon than anything else. <sighs> Looks like it'll be kind of slippery coming back down, though. Got a lot of wet leaves on the trail here. So I'm just going to walk, see how things go. And I guess this is the summit of the hiking course. <sighs> Not much to see, too heavily wooded. But I am up above pretty much all of Hikone. There's a pretty good view of the lake, except there are a bunch of trees in the way. You can kind of see it there. My GPS log says my current elevation is about 225 meters. So this is about one quarter the size of Mount Ibuki. Discounting whatever the altitude of the flat uh, ground around here is. If I go back down a little ways, I think I can reach a spot that has slightly better views. Although it sure is slippery here. Well, at least I think it is. Not that I've actually slipped on anything yet. But there are a lot of moist leaves, so I'm taking it real careful. There are a lot of plants to grab onto, at least. Can, yeah, you can kind of see there. Actually, that building in the middle is the Hikone View Hotel. So that's right next to JCMU. <sighs> Not a lot to see. Pretty good, quiet place to just kind of walk, though. So, I'm still at Ryotanji. I've seen about all I wanted to here. But, I noticed that the approach up the hill here faces almost straight west. And the video probably won't show it. Nope, there it goes. Uh, there's a good view of Hikone Castle from here. Plus, the sun is setting a little bit south of west, right near the castle. So, I'm just waiting here for sunset. And maybe I can get some cool lighting out of that. Until then, I'm just hanging out here. Not really a lot left to see. I took plenty of photos already. And there's my stuff.
it's audible on the video. But I hear brass instruments and saxophones warming up. I think I'll have to see what that is when I'm done here. a trombone now probably I'm very curious to see what that is because it's an unexpected sound welcome sound but unexpected I'm stuck here until the sun sets because I want to get some good photos. Well, so much for that. Sun's getting low. I can see things now. But there are no clouds to speak of. So this is going to be a pretty boring sunset, I think. <sighs> I almost feel like it's not worth staying here because not going to be interesting but I don't know maybe I will maybe starting to get cold but I don't know probably not worth waiting the remaining 20 minutes for proper sunset but then it's only 20 minutes but then I'm going to be going home when it's getting properly dark. I really can't win either way. I think I'll keep waiting. Because, well, it is just hazy. I'm starting to see some kind of interesting lighting on the horizon. Not so much lighting as colors, but whatever. We'll see how it goes. And here we are. Back on the flatland. I didn't wait until. Uh, oh. I didn't wait until proper sunset because the lighting is just boring. There's just nothing going on. Got a train coming in now. It's kind of exciting. <laughs> kind of makes an air rating hard though. Uh, so yeah. Back down at the level. Kind of an unusual uh, unusual place here <laughs> I'm pretty sure it predates the uh, the train tracks here <laughs> kind of got the short end of the stick with the development but maybe I'm completely wrong because there were a lot of signs that have way too many kanji that I can't read I saw something that looked like a date on one of them but I'll have to look at it later and decode it <laughs> So here we are. There's my bike. Time to head home. 